All right, we're going to look at the new Fern OS 2018.01. Got it running here live on VirtualBox. Now, because this is a Cinnamon build, and I'm running it on VirtualBox, Cinnamon doesn't like VirtualBox. They just kind of run sluggish, and compositing just doesn't work right. So there's the Fern OS welcome. Here's the introduction. Got features, getting started, installation help, online store community, get involved, donate. So pretty neat little welcome. Shows you everything you need to know not bad there so this is the way you boot it up you got a panel at the bottom you got your power you got your sound your internet connections not sure what this one is here and there's a little weather app and then there's some more apps here notification screenshot power management accessibility and user so it's got the brand new software center and there's your files and there's the menu two gigabyte download we're going to see what it has. So there's Valdi files, text editor, photos, mail, LibreOffice, VLC. They're a little welcome. So we're going to see what it has for two gigabyte. There's the brand new software manager. We'll get back to that. There's the file browser. So let's uh, just scan through it. Uh, of course, this is a Linux Mint build. So it's probably going to have a lot of new software that the Linux Mint has. There's calculator, clocks, files, font viewers, there's maps, got Redshift on there, text editor, USB image writers and all that. Games, got Steam, graphics, it's got Critive, photos, document viewers, simple scan, internet, it's got Vivaldi, transmission, there's Steam again, mail clients. Full labor office for the office, other, it's got a little conky thing. Sound and video, you got VLC, rhythm box, stall the multimedia codes, and cheese, and then all your administrative stuff so there is the welcome there's time shift there's the system reports uh, that's the new thing that uh, Linux Mint uh, installed on their system system monitor let's see what it's using real quick uh, 1.2 gigabyte and so let's continue on here and then places so it's gonna have all the new software probably that uh, the new Linux Mint has and uh, there's the Time shift, the system reports, and it's even got Synapse Package Manager and everything. So let's just go right into the system settings here and see what kind of themes they got. Of course, this is a cinnamon, and it is Fern OS. There it is, cinnamon version 3.6.7, Linux kernel 4.8053. So well, let's see what kind of uh, themes you got and backgrounds and all that stuff. And populate it's got a lot of backgrounds on it and let those populate there it's got quite a few you can see there it just keeps on going and going and going so not bad on the backgrounds got some branding ones and some blue ones there uh, these two right here is the ones I put together for them and then you got some scenery shots a lot of scenery shots nice dog there little kitty cat not bad more scenery shots so a good selection of wallpapers we'll just keep it on the default and so here is your cinnamon settings all your effects of course the themes the hot corners disk uh what's it called desklets extensions and all that good stuff printer settings sound bluetooth firewall software sources so let's have a look at this new themer. Looks like it's integrated with the rest of the themes. I couldn't really find anything here. There is this little thing here that uh, pops up this thing that, uh, well, no, not that one, the dark mode, which switches the dark mode. And then to see, I saw something else in here. And because this is running on VirtualBox, it's going to be kind of sluggish to select these themes. There's the dark mode. And let's see, I did see something else in here about Themer. The, what's it called? They got the maintenance to, uh, let's see, Furin. This theme colorizer. If you wanted to colorize your theme. But we're just going to look at these themes real quick. So they got the Furnace, Dark, Default, Tablet Mode, Mac OS. They got this Ubuntu layout, which I thought was pretty neat. And you'll see how, you know, it's just running a little sluggish here. 
So there is the Ubuntu layout. Looks pretty nice. There's your file browser. So not bad there. And so let's uh, look at some other ones here. Uh, Windows 10 layout. They got the Windows 8 layout. This is really, you know, uh, the Mac OS layout. Let's uh, just have a look at that. I don't want to sit here and switch too many of these because it's running, in, you know, a little slow and uh, just a little hard for it to switch them. So there is the Mac OS, and I'm thinking that this one has... Let me close some of this stuff here. No little docky at the bottom. It popped up a docky at the bottom. Okay, let's see how do I get back to system settings? Thought I had one open. It should have had a docky at the bottom. Pretty sure. Okay, anyway. There's the themes, and you can mix and match, of course. There's all the regular theme selection there. Cursors, controls, your file browsers. I kind of like these blue ones. And there's the Mac OS X style, and then they got all these other ones. And then, of course, you can get online and add and remove if you don't like any of these themes. So that's a pretty neat um, theme switcher there. It's all integrated, and of course, miscellaneous. And then you can turn things on and off about the look, you know. See, it's showing to have a little dock at the bottom, but. I don't know why it didn't pop up. Maybe it's VirtualBox. So we'll just put it back on the default there. And it's just, uh, you know, running kind of sluggish because it's a VirtualBox. So you see how it acts. And then it's always popping up that thing. So there's that. Looks pretty good. You got your brand new software center with your flat packs and all that good stuff. Of course, this is a Ubuntu base. There's Firefox, Shutter, and all the wine. I think they had the wine compatibility layer uh, already installed on this build, so you can install Windows programs and everything. Uh, so there is the wine. Let's see, it's showing to install that. I think that's just the, I'm pretty sure they had the wine compatibility layer installed. And there's the themer. So that's a pretty neat uh, themer. And there's your cinnamon system settings. You got your applets, of course, and all your ex uh, extensions and desolates and all that good stuff that cinnamon has. The effects. And then all your system hardware settings. So a uh, pretty neat little build. And there's the installer. Of course, it's going to have the Ubuntu Easy Installer. See how long it takes that fire up. There it goes. Just running a little sluggish in virtual. All cinnamons do this. It has nothing to do with the fern. They all do this. So there's the Ubiquity installer. There it goes. So not bad little build here uh, I like the default wallpaper from the last one I looked at it was a real bright white one I don't you know I don't know why he went with that real bright white one uh, see it didn't change my icons let me put those blue icons let's have a look at those blue icons and see mix and match we'll go with the blue there you go that looks a lot better uh, and again, you know, it is running a little sluggish in VirtuBox. I don't know how many times I said that, but, you know, that's why it looks like it's no compositing working and the way it's uh, moving around and acting kind of sluggish. So other than that, uh, pretty neat little build. Not bad at all. A lot of nice software. It's all the new updated stuff that uh, Linux Mint is going to have, like time shift, the system reports. Let's uh, go ahead and look at that stuff. There's time shift. You got that installed. There's the system reports. And time shift is pretty neat uh, little programs. You need to back up your system and go back to a date that if something happens and you can still get to the system, you can go into your, it'll, it'll have a log here. 
show a little couple of dates there and you can select one date and go back to that date or if you have other major problems you can get that image on a live boot CD and tell it to uh, rebuild using that image so there's the new crash report and all the other little stuff that uh, Linux Mint has installed it looks like it's installed on this build here so not bad and see they had uh, software manager they even had the snap package manager software sources and everything so not a bad build cinnamon if you like cinnamon it's got custom themes on it for an OS so not bad just want to wrap this up here just wanted to look at the brand new fern os 2018.01 uh nice build not bad at all i guess want to wrap this up here all right i'm out